Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we continue our ECG course and today presentation on supraventricular tachycardia. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi. I am emergency medicine consultant. Uh, for definition, the term supraventricular tachycardia can be used to refer to any tachyarrhythmia above the level of bundle of S. And usually it produces narrow complex tachycardia, like sinus tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, flutter, AV nodal reentry, and AV reentry, which is ortho, uh, orthodromic AV reentry tachycardia, atrial tachycardia, and multifocal atrial tachycardia, and even junctional tachycardia, all can be uh, uh, referred to as supraventricular tachycardia. But paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia describes supraventricular tachycardia with abrupt onset and abrupt offset. And usually this is seen in uh, re-entrant tachycardia involving AV node or uh, uh, atrial ventricular tachycardia. There is a lot of causes for SVT like alcohol, smoking or nicotine, uh, excessive caffeine, psychological stress, and of course, accessory pathway like wolf parkinson white syndrome, excess beta agonist or sympathomimetics. For ECG criteria for SVT, you will find the narrow complex tachycardia, regular with rate of around 140 to 280 beat per minute, and B wave usually invisible. Uh, sometimes B wave is visible and it will be abnormal access or even can be uh, follow the QRS like these P waves. Other ECG criteria, uh, usually it is narrow complex. The, com the QRS duration is less than uh, uh, 120 millisecond. Sometimes apparency occur lead to white complex and make differentiation from ventricular tachycardia more difficult. Also, sometimes there is ST segment depression uh, seen with supraventricular tachycardia without any underlying coronary artery disease. At this time, we convert the rhythm first to uh, sinus rhythm, then recheck if there is SVT depression or no. This is uh, uh, supraventricular tachycardia, SVT. As you can see, narrow complex tachycardia. Rate here is almost 180 beat per minute. No B wave is visible and uh, uh, it is regular. Here is the same. Even here, you can see slight ST depression, ST depression, and uh, T wave inversion. And here, ST depression also, uh, even without uh, coronary artery disease. Here's the same, but with a right bundle branch block uh, uh, character and white complex because of apparency. Types of SVT. Uh, first type is AV nodal reentry tachycardia. Reentrant circuit is in or just uh, beside or next to the AV node. Usually there is two pathways inside the AV node itself, and we will discuss in different video. Other type is AV reentry tachycardia, which is uh, 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 reentry circuit between the AV node itself and accessory pathway like the uh, wolf parkinson white syndrome. Uh, between them, there is a re-entry circuit will go in and out. And we'll discuss also in a separate video. Re-entrant atrial tachycardia is a form of atrial tachycardia where there is atrial activation by continuous uh, depolarization from uh, rotating uh, wave around anatomical structure like uh, IVC, valve, uh, the, uh, valve orifice, scar, or even area of functional block. And of course, this entrant tachycardia is uh, not the same as atrial flutter, which involves the IVC and the uh, tricuspid ethmus. This is a different place of reentrant tachycardia. As a management, a general management for SVT, uh, vegan maneuvers and carotid massage, medication like adenosine, calcium channel blocker, and beta blockers, cardioversion, uh, catheter ablation, and even we can use pacemaker in uh, some cases. Thank you, and see you in next video on AV nodal reentry tachycardia.